Everyone knows there's a national health care reform debate going on. Not a lot of people know about the work that's going on in local communities, in states and cities, uh, to help address the concerns about uninsured throughout their communities. So uh, San Francisco, three years ago, started a new project uh, called Healthy San Francisco that insures uh, more than 50,000 people who didn't have health insurance to begin with, and this is part of a, uh, an effort to uh, bring equity uh, locally to their, to their own communities. Um, a lot of people in the local level are saying that this is a national model uh, that could be used elsewhere, uh, but it is very expensive. Um, and uh, it, it's paid for through patient fees, through uh, contributions from local government, and uh, from a special health care tax. Uh, and so the question we're trying to answer is, is this affordable uh, for any of those, you know, on any of those levels? So a team of four reporters, supported by a photographer and a radio producer and a social media expert, are digging deep into this topic, looking at Healthy San Francisco from a number of angles to see if it's sustainable and maybe a model for the country. So we're looking at data and talking to a lot of people from top officials in the program to patients to clinic doctors and folks who'd like to enroll in it. And we hope to come to some good stories. One thing we've uncovered so far is that the the amount that a clinic gets reimbursed per patient is way under what it costs them to give patient care. So we want to find out what else is going on. And we need the community support to support this reporting and research. <laughs>